Spirit has something to say. I invite you to close your eyes so that you can hear. And to close your eyes so that you can see. Be present to being breathed. And now we set and hold a powerful intention for reconnection, for remembering. In your mind, imagine that you are in a vast hall, a hallway vast and long, back before the beginning of time. And trust what you see as it comes into your mind's image. You yourself have no body. You have no presence, no power, no spirit no potential. It's as if you are no thing. Nothing. Nothing at all. And around you there are a circle of figures. There are figures in a circle around you. Just notice. The figures are robed and wearing cloaks and you have no idea who or what they are one figure comes forward and stands before you the cloak falls away and you see that you are still looking at no thing a pure void darkness and lightness as one, the mystery, a mystery you cannot begin to comprehend. And a voice from that no thing says, I am source. All that is, is what I am. I give you potential and existence. And as the voice speaks, you feel the tiniest stirring within the nothingness that you are, and you become something. You are now presence. A second figure steps forward, the cloak falls away. And you see before you pure light, a vibrating, shining presence that is pulsing, rhythmic, and within it glowing depths that you can catch a glimpse of many colors intertwining, dancing, weaving a mystery. You are warmed by it and attracted to it. And a voice says, I am light and love. All that is, is what I am. My right hand is chaos. My left hand is order. And from this joining, I give you life. I give you sound and music and dancing. I give you energy and movement. And you find yourself vibrating and glowing, filling the void around you with movement and light, feeling within yourself an irresistible urge to unfold. An 
irresistible urge to grow, to expand, to explode into form and substance. A third figure steps forward and the cloak falls away. This being is shaped like a spiral galaxy spinning in space. A star shines brightly upon you, then explodes in a shower of particles. And the voice says, I am cosmos. All that is, is what I am. In my heart, elements are formed. I am the womb of the universe, and from me, all worlds are born. I give you substance. And you feel from your form that you too are becoming tangible. Built from atoms, forged from the stars, and released into the universe, like you, it is life. You feel a kinship with it. And your heart erupts outward in a blast of sacrifice, a blast of giving and gratitude. A fourth figure steps forward and the cloak falls away. Earth shining in space, brilliant blue and white and brown and green. And the voice says, I gather the elements of fire, water, earth, and air, and I give them a place to meet and to join you. A place where life can form and substance can form and grow. I give you a place where your life can be and become. A filth figure steps forward and the cloak falls away. A person wrapped in light, a person who seems neither man nor woman, neither young nor old, stands before you. And the voice says, I am humanity. I invite you into my destiny. And I give you shape and form to be part of my becoming. And you feel yourself becoming a person with a body and head, arms and legs, hands and feet. You have substance and presence and all that you've been. All the infinity of the cosmos from which you have come inhabits your form. You are empowered by it. A sixth figure steps forward. The cloak falls away. You see now two figures, a man and a woman. Behind them and around them are many other figures, indistinct, but nevertheless present. Indistinct. And you realize that they are also part of the two. Their voices say, we are your parents. Around us gather all of your ancestors and all who share humanity with us and with you. We give you a particular body, a particular life through which spirit, the world, and your own humanity may emerge. We call you to this earth. Now you are yourself. The identity you have come to know. The identity that's still unfolding in all the years to come. You are part of a vast, infinite family. From the source to the cosmos to the planet to the personhood. You are formed from spirit, birthed from stars, wrapped in the green juiciness of life and gathered into humanity. A seventh figure steps forward, the cloak falls away. You see a figure that changes shape, that seems to flow and projects infinite power and depth. And the voice says, I am water, the infinite deep, the powerful force of all life-giving energy. I give nourishment to your body and soul. I give you vitality 
and peace. And you begin to feel contentment. And you know that as life evolves around you, and you grow from within, and as you change and change and change again, that all is well. And it will always be so. All is well. There is one figure left. It comes forward. The cloak falls away. And you see not one figure but many. Some human, some not. Many worlds stretching all the way into the cosmos, into spirit, into light, into source, and beyond, and beyond, and beyond. And the voice says, we are all that comes into being because of you. We are all that will come into being because of you. Descendants, creations, possibilities, potentials. We will take form because you have taken form. We live because you live. We are the future you will shape. In part, through your will, you will do this. In part, through your deeds. And in part, simply through the fact of your existence. We are part of your belonging. We give you the gift of life. And one by one, each of these figures steps forward and fades into your heart into your body, into your soul. All are in you, and you are in them. You are one. You are one with God, with Source, with Cosmos, with Infinity. You are home. There's no place else you could be. And in a moment of silence now, experience what it's like to be reborn. Reconnected, remembered. Be still and know God. There is a spirit of goodness and compassion that is in the core of our being. We move beyond our conditioning. We leave behind self-interest and all other thoughts and habits that do not serve the highest good. We live for the benefit of all. We say yes to life. We merge principle and politics, and we are committed to bringing forth the highest good in ourselves and in the world. I can change the world. We can change the world.
and loving living spirit god in this moment now we realize our connection to you to all of life the cosmos the universe the source the very source of it all from the beginning to the end the alpha and the omega to each other to all people to people here the people we know the people we don't know the people we're close to the people we haven't met yet to all those who have gathered the people of our community, to our nation, our continent, all the people of the world, the earth itself. And what we feel is immense gratitude. And we let that gratitude well up. We let that gratitude well up this morning. And we dedicate and rededicate our lives to being and expressing that love, that life, that joy. To be and bring heaven to earth. We say yes, and we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. And so it is.